Got a little something different today. I do go to quite a few car shows. Don't usually do any videos, but once a year they have this antique car rally called the New London to New Brighton. And that's the American version of the historic one in Europe that was the London to Brighton. The rules for this is it's any car up to 1908 and any one or two cylinder car up to 1915. So these are the very early brass era cars, uh, air cool, chain drive, uh, different engine configurations, it's really something. There's quite a few people here, so I'm gonna mill around a little bit and just kind of get some highlights, but I'll probably not be talking. And uh, we'll try to catch these things starting up and leaving. They have multiple stops across uh, Minnesota, and this year they had moved it up to Anoka, which is somewhere near where uh, I live. And we go to the regular car show, so this is piggyback right on that. So we'll take a look at these guys, because they'll be leaving soon, and maybe transition into the regular show. So let's start with this 1908 Cadillac. This thing is something. They actually have copper jugs on the motor. This is an old Maxwell. It's an opposed twin cylinder. Look at the brass on these cars. I don't even know what a northern is. If you look at these lamps, you'll notice there isn't a bulb in there. These had they called carbide generators on them or acetylene generators when you took carbide and dripped water on them and made acetylene gas and they basically those are gas lamps that are tubed to the lamps and then you would light them and then they had a reflector in the back there's an early ford I don't know if that's factory or they added that on. It looks like the water pump's driven off the front of the crank externally outside the radiator. We were talking early stuff. Early Buick. This is just luxurious for an open cabin. What's cool about this, well, they all leak oil. <laughs> Look at the differential in this car. It's an open chain drive. Motors in the middle. It's a big flywheel. It's crazy. Everybody's trying to figure out how to engineer stuff. It's an early Rio. Again with the carbide lenses. Oh no, this one has uh, a bulb retrofit. <laughs> this looks like a hand throttle. Again, look at the drive on this. There's a chain drive on each wheel. Just look at how different the controls are from modern cars. It's another Buick. Look, he'll ride the stairs a lot. His mental capacity is probably gone for the last couple of years.
cars all the way on the well, That's the thing about these cars. There, there's a sweet spot. For this one, it, if you go start getting below 25, or nice, 30, huh? And then there's people like Rick and Shaking. So you try to hit that. that, that sweet spot. And you got a car like that. Did they go back and sit down? No. They might sit down because the market is heavy. That's because. I don't say to the registration, horseless carriage. I don't know what the cutoff in California is, but some of them are licensed that way. There's another one in Florida, horseless. import obviously I know nothing about it what I found kind of interesting is the the jump seats in the back <laughs> never seen a design like that must be for the children again with the hand controls really incredible that these guys drive these things I mean, they're high maintenance. Anybody who owns anything that's 100 plus years old knows they leak. They need constant adjustment. We got a whole nother row here. I think I'll wait for a uh, crowd to thin a little bit. We have another Buick, similar to the other ones. Center mount engine. <laughs> One lonely little uh, jump seat in the back. dive in a little deeper here at this last Buick. This is a big twin, a posed twin. Notice this is all directly underneath the passenger cabin. Carburetor, wide open, no air filtration. Everything just hangs down low. Everything's leaking. <laughs> Crazy. Center mount engine. Again, this one's a chain drive to a rear diff. And it is just beautiful. This is an 06 Stoddard. 
speedometer drive. Here's the pavement where they're driving in and out. Non-stop oil and gas trips. Well, it's a couple hours later. That was the end of the brass era car clips. This is the normal weekly Anoka car show. Tonight's pretty decent turnout. 350 to 400 cars. They take over this parking lot, park up that street, down Van Buren. Pretty nice night, nice and cool. The heat broke. I may end with a clip of what I drove here tonight. I uh, don't have time to cover some of these, plus the music's blasting down there. Makes it kind of hard, so. Hope you enjoyed something different. Catch you.
final clip, what did we drive to the car show? A 1929 Plymouth Rumble Seat Roadster. Got this car about two years ago. Second year Plymouth was a car company. 28 was the first year. This is a wood bodied still. It's got seal frame and all that, but the body is steel over wood. Four cylinder, top speed's about 50. If you push it any harder than that, you're really working her. Sometimes this is called the mother-in-law seat. Not a lot of room in there for today's average size Americans. Three speed, unsynchronized transmission. Kinda gotta double clutch it, unless you like grinding gears. And one day, sometime soon, I think I'll do a video on uh, the two of these Plymouths I have. I also have a sedan. Till next time.